Hello everybody, my name is Stefan Tyson. I'm working as a product manager for Styli and Fixture product here at Mitito Europe. And today we are going to look at the Fixture Builder software, which is embedded in the all new Mcosmos 5 CMM software. Basically, what are we going to do is, today we will look at how to start up the Fixture Builder and create a fixture just like that. Then we are going to load it into the Mcosmos 5 software. So you got all the details from the fixture building already in the cut file and you can go straight ahead to program your part for the measurement on the CMM. We are going to open a new project in our fixture builder software. First of all, we need to load the CMM model that we are going to work with. In this case, it is a MyStar, but you can create and modify any kind of CMM volume in the software. Then you have to load the part. You can source it from a folder on your computer. When clicking OK, it is already loaded in the Fixture Builder software. Then we have to choose the base plate to build the fixture upon. In this case, we use the 250 by 250 mm base plate by double clicking. Now we will switch to the automatic mode with the little icon up here. We will choose a back square element and position it here and accept the positioning. Then we choose the stopper element and place it right here. We move it over just a bit. Again, accept the position. At this point, there are no columns visible. That will come later. For the setup of the third element, we turn the part around so we can see the bottom side of it. Then we are placing a flat top and move it to the middle position. Don't forget to accept the positioning. Next action is to rotate the workpiece once again so we can look at the top. To fix the part, we have to choose a clamping element, in this case a spring clip. We accept the positioning and now we can already process the automatic fixture building. What we see is the complete fixture as made up by the software. We click OK and can see the complete setup of each column in our tree diagram. All part numbers are shown. Of course, we need to save our file and give it a name. Next step is to produce a report file. I choose a PDF, but there's option for CSV and HTML output too. Input a name and generate the file. Here you got all the necessary information regarding part number, quantity and the description. We also got an image of our setup and if you choose the optional 3D PDF file, you can rotate it and view it from all sides. Also, you get an assembly instruction for each section, including the coordinates on the base plates in regard of the alphanumeric markings on it. Then you can load the fixture file into the Mcosmos 5 software and start the actual part programming process. The Fixture Builder software is really easy to use and time saving. Okay, next step is building up the fixture. We are now going to assemble the fixture. You can find the part number from the instructions clearly lasered on the part surface. So they are easy to identify and they are really easy to assemble too. We start with the column number one. Now the main parts are already put together. This column goes to position E8 on the base plate. This back square element is positioned on the top. It will catch the edge of the part and I'm going to tighten the screw when we put the part on for the correct alignment. Now onto column number two. This one is a little different. We got one of these lashes here to be able to position the column a little more freely on the plate grid. This standoff got an 8mm bore on top, so we can input the stopper element. The positioning coordinates for these columns are 08. We need to set up a 145.5 degree angle to fit the fixing screws for secure fixing. Then we put in the stopper element. 
we can define the position of the part with these two elements. Now we are building the third column for the three-point setup of the part. And this one goes to K40. We can already insert the flat top contact point and fix it. Now we can take the part and define the positioning of the remaining two contact points. At this time the fixture is almost ready. We only need to mount the clamping column. It is a bit longer than the other ones, as we need to go on top of the part. And this one goes to K18. We fix all positions. Now we put the part on top and we have a real nice three-point setup. And it's going to be clamped. You can see the clamp is in the position of the supporting column for best stability. Now the fixture is finished and I think it was really easy. Okay, now we can put the finished fixture right on the CMM on our pallet receiver plate, which ensures safe repositioning for your CMM measurements. Okay, that's it. Goodbye for now. Thanks for listening.